Hello, I'm Jackie Cecil. I'm really pleased that you came. I've said before that I'm so pleased and thankful, really just thankful, for the people who come back week after week to watch these videos. I, I really appreciate it, and I thank you that you do. Today, I'm asking this question. Do I have a blind spot? Not something I really wanted to face. And this is what happened. I'm in YouTube, because, you know, I'm addicted to it. I'm inside YouTube, and I'm over looking in the auto areas, and I'm looking about blind spots for my vehicles. And I found a YouTube thumbnail that said, if you think that your car does not have a blind spot, then you're stupid. Ouch, that hurt. Um, you know, it really did hurt, even though that's why I was looking for them, you know, looking for the right kinds of mirrors. But it really did. It seemed really coarse and seemed a little pushy. However, the truth is, then the next day I kept thinking about it and I moved from cars to, do I have a blind spot in my life? So now it took me a couple of days before I got brave enough to, you know, just go to God and say, do I have a blind spot? But I did. And in less than 24 hours, ouch, I knew what it was. I knew exactly what I'd been doing wrong. And I knew exactly what I had to do to correct it. <laughs> you know, when I first started this channel, I said to the audience a couple of things. One, I said we would always talk about God's mercy and grace. And I do try to do that. And then I said I would be transparent, which is not always fun. But I did feel like as if I'm transparent, then you know I'm not preaching at you and you know I'm trying to be sincere. So I knew exactly what I'd done wrong. <laughs> Here I am trying to be so cool with, at this age of my life, trying to do so many wonderful techie things. I was putting my work as a life coach and my work with running two YouTube channels. And of course I have a church and social life. So, you know, I wanted those to do. And I'm praying, all, I'm still praying, but you know what I wasn't doing? I hadn't really sat down and read scriptures in months. I would, I would Google, and you know, I'd hit that, that search button for questions I had about certain things like, uh, how do you love me? And you know, just all those kinds of things um, from minor things to big things. But was I sitting and reading and making memories with the scriptures? And no, of course I wasn't. And, and so, you know, I knew I had to get up, get it together and start. Because that spending the time in the Word of God is what changes my life every single time. Every time I'm committed to the scriptures, I see growth and I see things that I'm amazed at. So I started in Genesis and I began to read about Abraham and the way if God said pick up and move, he picked up and moved. I mean, like as soon as he could get all the animals together and, the, and all the family together, he was gone. He takes his wife, his nephew, and all the people who work for him, and he goes. I see where every time God told him to do anything, he did it instantly. But then I also saw that he did have this one little blind spot. And that blind spot was he was so enamored with his wife, Sarah, believed she was so beautiful. and knew that every time he moved to a new section of the country and he came near a new king, if they, the king or any of his men saw his wife, they would report to the king how beautiful she was. And he was afraid he'd be killed. So he talked her into keeping her mouth shut and saying that she was his sister. And you know that happened not once but twice. And not once but twice God got him out of it. So I'm I'm pondering, 
gosh, God, why did you let Abraham off so easily? And then I thought about it. It was like it went right through me. Well, I'm letting you off easily about a lot of things. And I was like, oh, me? I, I do things so wrong? Turns out God thought I did. <laughs> so, so I had to forgive myself and shift gears. And I want to put the, the clutch in slowly and you can feel me shift. Last summer, I did an interview. I was in Roswell, New Mexico, and I did an interview with Sean and Menda Ryan. Now, Sean is a great, big, strong guy, but he's also a strong businessman running a thriving business. He's also a strong follower of the Father God, and he's, he's an amazing guy. And then he has this beautiful wife who is very soft-spoken, well-spoken, and a, a homeschool teacher. But she said something to both Ryan and uh, to both Sean and I. We were talking about mistakes and you know what we've done in our life. And she literally said, mistakes are not failures. They're just mistakes. Get over it. And you know, both of us were like, okay, she's right. And it really did, it really did show me a lot about her and a lot about myself. Because sometimes I beat myself up over things I've done wrong. And she was just like, it, you know, get over it. And I realized that all I have to do is repent, say to God, I'm sorry, repent, turn around, start the other direction, and instantly my relationship with God is right back in place. Instantly, I'm noticing little things that that God acknowledged in Abraham. He didn't hide that he did those things, but he didn't, he wasn't angry at him because Abraham followed so strongly after the Father God that God for, could forgive him for the nitpicky little stuff. And now he can forgive me for all the silly little things I did with not, with allowing my life, I got so, thought I was so important with all my work stuff, you know, that, that I, I let it go. And now, Linda's taught me a wonderful lesson. And then I remembered that mistakes are just silly mistakes, and I feel so much better, just like Abraham, while I made some mistakes. I started my change the moment I really realized where I was. I started changing that right away. And that's what God saw in Abraham. That's what he sees in me. That's what he'll see in you. With any issues that you have, you can simply go in prayer to the Father God and ask for forgiveness, repent for it, and move forward just like Minda does, just like her husband does, just like Abraham did, just like I'm doing. Through the ages, we've all made mistakes, big or small. They're still mistakes. They're just mistakes that can be forgiven and moved on from. In 1 John 1, 9, in the Passion Translation, it says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and righteous to forgive us our sins, to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And then, you know, I'm back to my little search bar. I found that there are 30 Bible verses, a minimum of 30, that talk about God's forgiveness. We have no right to be in shame or in fear. 30 different places from the Old and the New Testament. God talks about forgiving the children that he loves. How precious is that? Now, give me a moment to pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come before you. And I thank you, Father God. I thank you, thank you, thank you for how good you are to your children, how precious and awesome you are to us. You provide for us, you love us, you teach us, and you protect us. But the most amazing thing you do, Father, is continually 
forgive us. Thank you for that gift. Father, I ask that you bless this audience. Bless every single person who watches these videos. Bless them financially, physically, emotionally, spiritually, and even with creativity. Bless them, bless them, bless them. I thank you for this audience, Father, and they're, they're precious to me. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Well, I know you're going to sleep well tonight. You've been blessed by the Father God. I know that each one of you already know that I publish a new video every Wednesday. So be watching for that. If you are a subscriber, if you've already clicked that subscribe button, then you'll get a little ding every Wednesday that reminds you that I have a new video. I also want you to look down there at that little like button, like button. I'd like you to click it because I'd like you to. <laughs> Do you think I could be any more bold than that? Now, the thing that is really important to me, maybe you have a friend, a family member, a next door neighbor, who's made a mistake and you can see they're, they're having trouble working their way out of it. I'm, I'm asking you to just send them this video so that they understand that, that they are loved by the Father God. And while they might have had a blind spot, God shows it to them and forgives them. Blind spots don't stop us from moving forward if we acknowledge that we have them. So, please just send this to one person you know would enjoy it. See you next Wednesday. Bye.